lot of this game. Was that just a product of the looks you were getting, or have you been shooting more? What, what was that like for you? Uh, just come with the game. You, know, you ain't gonna make shots every game, so I try not to really dwell on that. Like if I miss shots or made shots, so today they just happen to fall and they just happen to go in my favor. But it's all about just staying in the gym, no matter what. If you making shots, if you missing shots, just stay in the gym, and then it's gonna come. DJ, you've had to come back from injury a couple times today. There was times Trey kind of struggled out there. Is there something you could say to him? I know he's a vet, but be like, you know, kind of since you've kind of been there coming off an injury a couple times this year? Uh, yeah, just sometimes it ain't always easy to catch a rhythm, especially coming off of, coming off an of injury. You know, he sat out a couple games. He sat out a little bit, so it, it's a little hard to get your rhythm at first, but, you know, we confident in him. We, we all know, like, the amazing player he is, so we ain't really worried about it. You know, he's a great player, and besides that, he was still contributing in other ways, just helping us on defense and just talking to us and stuff like that. So his presence was still there no matter what. DJ, do you feel like, I guess, this team's confidence ever gets shaken? I mean, you're down nine, you start the game slow. I mean, do you guys ever feel that or, you know, I mean, because the way you play, it doesn't always feel that way. Uh, I don't think so. You know, I feel like we got a lot of great guys that help. We like, we contribute. Uh, I say like, we, we get it from each other. Just knowing that we got people next to us that are, that's amazing players as well. And people on our team, that's amazing players. So that gives us all confidence in each other just to keep going no matter. Like you said, if we down nine, if we up 20, it don't matter. We always going to keep our confidence. You, you mentioned that getting into it. What's, what's, what's going to be the key over this last week of the regular season for getting the tournament play? Uh, just locking in, just cleaning up all the small things and doing whatever we need to do. And really taking it day by day, not thinking ahead into the future. You know, we, we taking it day by day. So practice by practice. Coach always say like, we got to win the practice. So that, that's a win. A good practice is a win for us. So just taking it day by day and not making sure we clean up on all our small mistakes. You were talking about practice. Aaron said that one thing he credits the winning these close games to is that you guys have turned to situational practices, mm -hmm. like practicing these late game situations. Is that something you feel like has helped you guys finish these games out? Because at the beginning of the year, you guys kind of struggled with that. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, we, we go over the type of situations, like close games at the end of the game. We, we run, we go over sets and just different stuff we can do to help us in them situations. And that's been helping us a lot since, the, like you said, in the beginning of the season, we started working on that. Just every practice, no matter how long, but each each day we work on that. Like at the end of the practice, always a situation, situational thing at the end of practice. So that's been ha helping us a lot. And I feel like it helped translate into the games. How much are you watching Big Z go out there, just getting more comfortable when he's able to get some actual minutes? Because you saw some of his play out there, mm -hmm. some success in pick and roll, and just you know out there playing a lot of good basketball. Yeah, he's just a great, great player, you know, real smart player. And like I said, the, all the things we do in the court, it don't really surprise none of us because we, we see it all in practice and just how much work everybody put in. So we all got confidence in each other. And Big Z been showing how much he can play and how talented he is, really how skilled he is, just doing all the things he's been doing on the court. DJ, the last five and a half minutes or so, it was all freshmen out there. What's it just say about that group that you guys were able to finish off with a veteran team like that, just with all that youth on the court? Uh, just that coach got confidence in us. You know, just him showing that confidence in us give us confidence in ourselves. And we all got our own confidence. But I feel like we feed off each other very well, just playing off each other and just knowing that in that situation, we had to lock in to be able to win the game. Justin barely had played all game and then comes and scores eight in those last five minutes. Just how cool is that to watch? Uh, it's great. You know, just knowing how much work he puts in, just how much work everybody put in. But, you know, we all, I got that, we all got that confidence in him to do that. So we was all happy for him, just seeing him hit them shots. You see how happy, it was like we hit the shot, you know, so, yeah. When Z got that huge block towards the end, do you feel like it changed the momentum offensively for you all? Uh, yeah, just whenever we get stops on defense, I feel like that change the momentum for us because that's that's important just getting stops first so them last couple stops we got down the stretch and then them amazing plays like you said Z made Rob made Justin made just mm -hmm. everybody made it just helped the momentum go even more and you talk about like all the depth you have on the team I was just talking to Aaron he said it doesn't really feel like there's competition like he's happy when he sees Z have a good play you know you're one of the guards in the rotation what is that like to be on a team that you feel like you're not like competing against each other in any way? Uh, it's fun it's fun for all of us because it makes the game fun whether we on the bench, we're gonna be cheering, or whether we on the court. So it's fun just knowing how uh, how many great players we got on the team. Just that anybody who anybody from the team who step on the court can play and they can contribute. So it make it even funner for us. Do you think that's unique? You've been on a lot of teams. Is that unique? Uh, yeah, I would say, but I wouldn't say. You know, every team I've been on, we all we always happy for each other and we always cheer each other on. Cal says he's never had a team with as many people who live in the gym. Do you agree with that? And, and what does that actually mean for those of us who don't live in the gym? 
Uh, I couldn't tell you if that's what he said, then that must be the truth. But just living in the gym just means just being in the gym every day, just getting shots up whenever you can, just always working on your game, trying to perfect your craft. And he's right. You know, every time you go in the gym, it's never going to really be a moment when you don't see nobody in the gym. It's always going to be somebody in there, no matter who it is. And I feel like that just shows how many great players we got and a lot of hardworking players we got. DJ, what's his name? Rob, early on, you didn't have the, the best game, but there down the stretch, it's like you turn it on like a microwave when you need to make those plays. Kind of talk about that mentality when you get in those situations. Yeah, uh, sometimes, like, I feel like the first half you get good shots, you feel like they're good shots, and they just don't go. So when they keep missing, it kind of hurts your confidence. But I feel like second half comes whenever coach put me back in. I feel like if he, going, he has the confidence to put me back in, then I should have the confidence in myself. So I feel like I've done it before, so I can make big plays. Is it just a matter of getting that first one to fall and then you can get your rhythm going? Or? I, I would say that and like, just like when, when we're starting like the game from the beginning, I don't always have a ball in my hands. I'm off the ball. So like more starting the game, it's not about me. It's about our whole team getting together. So like at first I don't really get the same shots I get at the end because it's not in my hands all the time. But like, I don't really trip, like, you see, because I feel like I can make plays at the end. So I just try to play, and based on how my teammates just play, I try to go off what they need me to do. It almost seems like you guys, you particularly play better when your back's against the wall. When, when they got up on that on that little run, went up on you guys, what was kind of the mentality that you were thinking at that moment? Uh, I was just trying to make plays, honestly. Uh, they pulled away a little bit, and I felt like we could come back easy. So I didn't really trip about it. I just played basketball and knew we had to get stops to come back. Cal said that he was a little bit worried going into this game because of Arkansas. Not only the record, but because of their style of play. Did you guys have any jitters at all early? Because, you know, they did come out early on and make some shots. Uh, I mean, yeah, maybe they was hitting shots, but uh, personally, not. Nah, I didn't. <laughs> so I don't think we did either. You said your confidence gets down after you miss the first shot or two. Do you actually have a drop in confidence? Because you seem like you're basically the same level of extreme confidence pretty much the whole time you're out there. Yeah, I mean, internally, everybody going to have some type of confidence drop if they shot not falling. But you can't like let it show. Like You take the same shots you would take if you were hitting shots. So I just look at it like that. And, like it was a bunch of layups I missed, and it was the same layup in the second half, the same exact layup. So it's really just you're not gonna make every shot, and so you gotta just keep playing. First time this season, you guys had seven guys in double figures. First time this season, what's that say about this group? Uh, I mean, everybody can make plays. Everybody make. We getting way better at defense. Like, I just feel like we got a team that want to win. So I feel like our team can do offense, defense, whatever coach needs us to do. How much more are you seeing Big Z grow out there? Just the more he's getting on the court. So you guys had some national nice pick and rolls, so just some play action. Uh, Coach said all the time, Z is one of our best skilled players, and it's not offense that hurts Z. That's not why he's in the game. If Z rebound the ball, do the little things, don't go up with one hand, uh, just the little things. Coach always stressed us. Then Z would be one of the best big men in the nation. It's just little things, but I feel like that's just us growing. What is it about Big Z that makes it so fun to play with him in the pick and roll? Uh, Cause he can shoot the ball, he can stretch the floor. So if I come off a screen, the big has to either switch, help, or guard Z. So it's an easy option every time. And then he's rolling, so they have to tag. If they don't tag, corners open. So it's just easy with him because he can do everything for sure. Could you tell that they were struggling to, to defend it down the stretch there? Uh, yeah, for sure. Definitely when we have it and they didn't have a man on the help side. So we just kept coming off the screen and they couldn't really guard it. You guys were, were come away with the win, but early on defense was kind of a little bit of a problem. What were they doing to, to get to the hoop so easily? Uh, I mean, it was getting a lot of foul calls. So we, we was playing defense, but if you're playing defense and you're getting foul calls every time, it's hard to play defense. So we are just trying to maintain with what the calls were being called. So we were trying, but just sometimes I don't go your way. When you have so many guys who can make electric plays on this team, you, Z, like six others, uh, what does that do to the, just the overall energy on the court when, when all that's out there? Uh, it helps us because one of us make a play and it, the, the crowd gets involved and it hypes up our momentum. Then other people have confidence to make shots and block shots and do defensive things. So 
really just like the hype boosts everyone instead of just a player usually how it's one player that carries it's, it boosts our whole team because we all get hype off of it you've talked about you talked about the beginning of the season that you were still just trying to figure out when to take the shot and when not to take the shot and that was a struggle for you at the beginning right. That last flurry tonight, you had I think 11 points and four assists. So you did basically half of both. What do you feel like you've come a long way there? Uh, yeah, for sure. I definitely feel like coach has trusted me and he's helped me, and he also like tells me like. Even though he yell at me, I can't really stress what he yells at me for. I just got to play basketball, and that's what he tells us. In a moment, he'll be mad at us, but now, like, I don't really think about what he said. I just play basketball, and if I mess up, then I mess up. I come out the game, and I get another chance. So that's how I look at it. A few months ago, do you think you would have had those four assists on a player like that, or would you have had, like, 17, 18 points? And... No, nah, I still would have had, like, four assists, for <laughs> sure. I mean, you did get a three, though, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> And you talked about like the last month or so with just not playing it much been more of a mental thing. I mean, this this whole season, you know, missing so many games to start the season and you know, starting and then now like how much of a mental role it's been throughout this whole season? It's a lot, but with the help of my friend my one of my closest friends is E, Hugo, the guys, my mom, Jeff. And watching my teammates, like it's just been easy to me now because like you're gonna deal with adversity. <coughs> adversity is like a thing that's gonna happen in your life. You're gonna have to deal with it regardless of if you want to deal with it in a good way or a bad way. I'm trying to deal with it in a good way. So getting in that gym, working out, and getting better every day. Do you feel like you guys are better at battling through adversity, and that's gonna be critical going through to the tournament? Yes. I feel like we're a really good team when it comes to adversity because like a lot of us dealt with it growing up i mean we all had targets on our backs as kids so now that like we're here we still got that target i guess you should say what's it like playing that first game in march do you feel an added intensity now that the calendar turned to march yeah i ain't gonna lie i, I thought that game was march man is at first nah it's uh real intense now we just trying to win every game and just get better so you got a big block, uh, mm -hmm. which from a viewer's perspective kind of seemed like it changed the momentum. I know you guys are pretty close friends. What was it like to see him get that big block Man, and then he's going around? I'm proud of my boy. Proud of him. Because just like just like me, we both dealing with the same thing. And seeing him get that block and pushing the ball, man, I just love it. Do you feel like the relationship between you, Z, and Ugo has kind of like helped you cheer each other on when you're splitting minutes and things like that? Because mm -hmm, regardless, if he gonna, if he's playing better than me, I have to realize that he's playing better. It's not my fault. I mean, it's not his fault. It's my fault. So him playing better than me or Ugo playing better than me is not a, a, a that's like, that's selfish. Feel me? If they got it going, they got it going. Do you think that's unique? Like you've been on a lot of basketball teams before. Do you think it's unique? Like sometimes if somebody gets jealous or something like it that? Yeah, it it's really unique actually. We was just talking about that too. Cause like a lot of other schools or players, I don't know, they, they like hate off each other. Us, we don't do that. We, we all love each other. It's the first time you guys had your entire lineup tonight. Did that feel good? And are you guys kind of trending in the right direction as yeah, we've been out in March? Yeah, it feels real good. Man, we got some subs now, so <laughs> yeah, we good now. Yeah. What was it like? You guys early on had some trouble with them just getting stops in the paint. Mm -hmm. You guys, though, at the end, kind of turned it up and made those defensive plays. What was the difference, I guess? Uh, it's on a mirror of usage. That's really it. My boy held down the paint and got that one big block that we needed. Mm -hmm. That secured the whole game. When Rob starts making those plays, did it tonight, he's done it in other games, it seems like he almost is feeding off the energy of the crowd and mm -hmm. kind of being backs against the wall. What do you say about that when you watch him go into kind of that situation? What do you say about him? That's a dog. That is a dog right there. He's going to play the whole 40 minutes, however long the game is, he's going to play that game. So, I mean, I'm just proud of him and the things he's been doing on and off the court. Aaron, I guess, what's the most fun part about playing with this team? I mean, you had all these guys scoring in double figures. Just um, There's a lot of excitement. What is it for you? How we cheer each other on. That's the most exciting thing for me. Because I've, I've been on some teams where people score a bucket and they just sitting there doing that. You know you know the little clap they do? Yeah. <laughs> uh, nah, somebody make a shot on this team. We doing celebrations. We doing backflips. We doing all this other stuff. So that's the main like thing I really cherish and love about this team.
you, you've, been, you've been doing stuff like that even when you haven't been playing well or when you haven't been playing many minutes. What I mean, have you always had that mentality? Or, always. Or, you have? Yeah, always. I, 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 just, mean, I just like being positive. Yeah. If you bring nothing but negativity to soil, it's going to get negative. So why don't you just be positive? You know wrong with being positive? Do you feel like that rubs off on your teammates? It seems yeah, like there's a lot of positive people, but it also seems like they kind of gravitate toward you, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a positive person, so I just like giving love and showing love. So, it's really it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.